Hi, this is JP from Nota Lights Over Arkham. This time we are playing the Hood scenario with a couple of changes from the uh, Hood scenario pack. So I am playing uh, with the Spider Man hero, and this is because I decided to build up uh, the Spider Man Rogue Gallery, uh, which we may know from the comics. So uh, a lot of the Green Goblin uh, modular sets are in this um, uh, list of modular sets we are using. So we have seven modular sets which include uh, a mess of things, power drain, running interference, then Goblin gimmicks, and then we have uh, these three from the Hood scenario pack. So we have the Sinister Syndicate, which includes some of the rogue villains uh, fr from um, Spider-Man's uh, nemesis or, or enemies which are usual in Spider-Man comics. Then we have uh, Streets of Mayhem because why not. And lastly we have a State of Emergency. So the idea for this is that uh, Hood is um, recruiting all of the Spider-Man villains to fight Spider-Man and uh, Maybe we'll see the Vulture also making an appearance, but uh, <laughs> that is all up to the encounter deck if we hit the Shadows of the Past. Uh, we are also using the uh, Standard 2 uh, set instead of the Standard, so we have the Formidable Hole in play, which gives the Hood uh, steady, which is rep represented by the What Are You Doing token here. So we need to double. Uh, stun and Confuse to uh, have the Stun or Confuse in play. And that brings up some interesting mechanical changes, how for example Webbed Up works. So Webbed Up will uh, stop the villain for one activation, then it will stun it, but it won't stun it. So we need to have another stun to get the double stun in. And uh, well, that is that. So, uh, we are playing uh, Peter Parker. I decided to uh, build the Spider Man tech as protection just so uh, the game is not like really fast if, if we don't hit the spinning mech kicks or stuff like that. But I built it so we have a lot of uh, protection events that either remove threat or uh, deal damage. So let's look at the deck, which I built for Spider-Man. So this is the deck I built for Spider-Man. So it's the Spider-Man against the Hood and Goons. I didn't go that much overboard with the allies. Uh, we have uh, the stable ones, Clea, uh, Iron Fist. Uh, then we have uh, Spider-Man uh, Miles Morales, which is a really good card. And then we have Starhawk. So not uh, maybe the best ally pool here, but I heavily uh, play on to the events of this. So we have the bait and switch, which will help us uh, thwart and remove threat. Then we have a first hit, which will deal damage or stops minions from attacking by dealing two damage. If that defeats the minion, it stops the attack, but uh, also this can be used to deal damage to the villain. Then we have Hard Knocks, which also deals damage to an enemy, so we can defeat minions with it, which gives us a tough status card, so it combos well with other uh, stuff that uh, says that when we defend and don't take any damage. Momentum Shift is my one of my uh, favorite uh, protection cards because it also heals as well as deals damage, so it's, uh, it lets us keep our uh, hero uh, up longer, so we don't have to go to Alter Ego. And uh, that is basically the deck, so a lot of uh, events. Then, of course, the resources, not talking about those that much. Uh, defensive training is a newer card. So, Alter Ego action, exhaust this card and remove one training counter from this. Choose a protection green event in your discard pile and shuffle it into your deck. So, 
when we eventually have to go to alter ego we have a way to add some uh, events from our discard back to our deck uh, in the upgrades we have uh, armored vests uh, which is a staple for spider-man at least when i'm building for spider-man then we have hard to ignore so after your hero defends against an attack and takes no damage it's just hard to ignore remove one threat from the main scheme so this uh, helps us keep the main scheme down in threat where because spider-man is able to defend a lot and not take that much damage and also unflappable is a really good card usually when playing spider-man so we rarely take that much damage, so if we take no damage, we can draw cars, which is really good. Uh, that is basically the deck. It's nothing fancy or special. Uh, it's just a protection deck, but I try to include a lot of the newer and uh, protection cards to change the deck play up a bit. So um, we are pretty much ready. So I am going to uh, do the setup here so uh, first off we have all of those um, modular sets there uh, they are not in any particular order but I will roll the dice and uh, uh, count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so reroll 8 and reroll numbers that are in between and stuff like that so uh, choose 7 modular sets and set them aside and choose one of those sets at random, then shuffle it into the encounter deck. So we'll do that now. So the first uh, modular set to go into the encounter deck along with the hood and the standard two is number seven. So we get a uh, state of emergency. So no minions or stuff like that, but a lot of side schemes and really annoying cards. So We'll shuffle this here, and of course the uh, Spider-Man application is here. And uh, then I think we are ready to start, so we'll flip this. It starts with one threat, and that is the setup done. So uh, we are ready to begin, so let's get started. <laughs> Okay, and we are ready to start, so the decks are shuffled, and we'll draw our opening hand of six cards. We get uh, Endurance, Web Shooters, Black Cat, Bait and Switch, Hard Knocks, and Enchant Enhanced uh, Spider Senses, uh, or Sense, so I think... We'll keep the black cat, we'll keep the web shooters, we'll keep the endurance, and we'll uh, shuffle these three back or, or mulligan them. So, just drawing three more cards. We get the helicarrier, Spider Man, and hard to ignore. First off, we'll use Spider Man's ability to generate a uh, Mental resource, we'll play web shooters down. They come into play with the counters. I'll actually keep the web shooters down here. And uh, I think we are ready to flip to hero. It's a lot of uh, setup cards, so I think we are not playing Miles, so I'll use Miles to uh, I'll use these three to play the Helicarrier and uh, we'll use the Helicarrier to play hard to ignore and we will thwart for one here or actually no, we'll just start hitting, so we'll hit for two damage here and that is our first turn. Are we ready up? Are we draw back up five. We get a, a first hit, armored vest, energy, momentum shift, and queen carrier. 
So we'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat to the main scheme. The hood attacks. I will defend. Also, uh, we'll draw a card first. So defensive training. So I will defend. And uh, one plus uh, reveal this card. So this gets added to the hood. So it gives plus one attack. So two attack. I have a defense of three. So it takes no damage. I'll toggle hard to ignore to remove one threat from here. Encounter card for this turn is the hood pistol. So who shuffled this deck? <laughs> so hood gets both of the pistols down immediately. And that is that. So that is the uh, villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. So uh, before we go any further, I forgot to do the uh, when revealed, each player must resolve the hood's full play ability in play order. So let's just put this back. And discard cards from the top of the encounter deck. Uh, uh, discard the top card. If that card does not belong to the hood, encounter said deal it to yourself. So this was the hood's pistol. And the second one was the boost card. And let's resolve the encounter card. So it's upper hand, uh, alter ego. When revealed, the hood attacks you. Resolve the hood's full play ability. So the hood attacks us. Uh, you will draw a card. Webbed up. And we'll take 4 damage. And uh, do I have anything special to change that? No. We'll take 4 damage. And uh, we resolve the whole play. And this gets uh, deal dealt to us for the next round. So we get the citywide crisis when revealed result the when revealed ability of each side scheme in play no revealed ability was resolved this way place two threat on each scheme so this is waiting for us for next uh, villain phase and now we can uh, uh, continue correctly so um, uh, we took some damage that's not nice so i think we need to slow down the villain Using helicarrier uh, web shooters and uh, we'll use the energy. So we play webbed up. So webbed up is a he a hero form only attached to the enemy, max one per enemy. Forced interrupt when that enemy would attack, discard webbed up instead, the, then stun that enemy. So we at least stop the first attack and give. One stun effect to the hood. Uh, next up, uh, I think I'm using the defensive training, first hit and armored. No, uh, momentum shift to play the queen carrier. Then uh, we'll play the armored vest with the queen carrier. So. Just uh, tighten up the play area here a bit. Okay, so we have a good uh, resource generation going on. So this here, so we're ready up. Draw back up to five. Now we get the power of protection backflip. Swimming with big enhanced spider sense and iron fist. We'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat to the main scheme. Uh, the hood tries to attack. The web up kicks in, so that is cancelled. And uh, the hood is stunned, but it is not really stunned. We get to encounter cards. First one is. So we just uh, add two threats to the main scheme. Then we get Madame Mask. So guard, when revealed, resolve the hood's fall play ability. When defeated, defeating player must resolve the hood's fall play ability. So uh, we get a card from the hood's 
set so nothing happens, but this enemy has guard, so we need to deal with Madame Mask. And that is the villain phase, let's go to the next hero phase. So we have some choices here, I think we need to try and defeat uh, uh, Madame Mask some way. So first off we will use Queen Carrier and Heli Carrier and the power of protection to play Iron Fist. Iron Fist comes into play with two Mystic Counters, uh, Spider-Man and Iron Fist will hit Madame Mask, and I won't use this, so we'll deal two from here, two from here, and Madame Mask is defeated, and we'll have to resolve the uh, fall play ability again, and this uh, disaster at the docks comes in uh, dealt to us, so we have to resolve that next uh, villain phase. Then I'll use uh, web shooters, and uh, I think there is an, well there there is no way to remove this threat, so we are advancing, unfortunately. So I'm just uh, swinging web kick. Uh, so we deal 8 damage to the hood. Bringing him down to 6 health remaining. And yeah, one consequential damage here. And that is that, we'll ready up. We'll... Uh, draw back up to 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we get clear, uh, hard to ignore, strength, genius, and swinging web kick. So I think we have a good plan ne for next turn. We'll go to the villain phase. Uh, this advances, so uh, when revealed, choose one set aside modular encounter set at random, then shuffle it into the encounter deck. Place one acceleration token to the main scheme. So we get an acceleration token. This starts with two threats. And we'll uh, resolve which one we get. So number six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So uh, we get the Streets of Mayhem. So we are not hitting the uh, Green Goblin scenario pack modular sets at all, but uh, it is uh, inevitable that we will hit those when the game progresses, so we'll get a lot of different stuff before that. So, when revealed, uh, each player must resolve the hood for playability in player order. For each player who was not dealt at least one face down encounter card this way, place three threat here. So, this is what we get. So, that is not shuffling. Resolving the fall play, we don't get it, so we add two threat there. We really need to uh, get some ways to remove the threat. Okay, so we'll uh, go to the hoods attack, so attacking Spider-Man, I will defend with Spider-Man. Uh, before that, actually, I'm drawing a card, web shooters. Now I'm defending. So, uh, one, two, three, four, uh, we don't take any damage. I'll use hard to ignore, to remove one. Uh, encounter card, so two. First is disaster at the docks. When we will take three indirect damage, so I'm taking it. Spider-Man. And uh, next up, uh, total annihilation. Uh, we'll add the threat here first. So, total annihilation uh, when revealed, the villain attacks you, that attack gains overkill. Okay, so I think uh, we have to sacrifice uh, Iron Fist to this, but first we draw 
card and it gains overkill so um, let us see what we can do so uh, two plus one at there this activation ends result of the hood's all play ability so uh, iron fist takes two damage and one damage carries over and we resolve the fall play and a secret layer gets added to our pile for encounter cards for next turn so uh, we are not looking good <laughs> we, we need to probably momentum shift the hop down to alter ego and try to recover from there let's see what we can do so that was the villain phase let's go to the next hero phase so we are down to two health, so I think we need to try and uh, head down to Alter Ego. But before that we can do some damage. So first off, uh, let's... Uh, we could also try to get rid of the... Uh, so I'll, I'll use the Helicarrier to play the web shooter. I'll use both of the web shooters. So this discards that to remove the uh, weapon. Then I'll use Queen Carrier uh, to play. Uh, let's wait with that for a moment. So we'll play Clea uh, with Genius. Clea. Oh yeah, this also gives the here. So uh, Claire will work for uh, one here. Then I will use. Momentum shift. I'll use the strength to play momentum shift. Heal two here. Uh, heal two. We'll use the queen carrier to play the other hard to ignore. Then uh, we'll keep the swinging web kick and we won't go down to alter ego yet. So we'll draw back up to five. We get. Uh, spider tracker, unflappable, power of protection, bait and switch, swing, web kick. Okay, and we'll go to the villain phase. We add uh, three threats here because of the boost icons. Uh, the hood attacks, and uh, I'll draw a card. Aunt May not helping. I'll defend with Spider Man. Uh, the hood gets uh, 1 plus 2 is 3, so we ignore all, all of it. Let this be ready. So I will uh, use both hard to ignores to remove the threat from here. Then, or was this only? Only from the main scheme, unfortunately. So uh, I will change that Clea was uh, working this one. Okay, so that should be correct now. So uh, we'll get an encounter card. First one is the secret layer search. When revealed, discard each other setting in permanent play. Each enemy in play gains one acceleration icon. Okay. Each hero and ally in play gets plus one to both. Okay. That's fine. And we don't have any setting environments. Then we get dark uh, dealings when revealed. The villain schemes with plus one scheme. Not nice. 
So two plus two plus one give the villain one additional boost card for this activation. Well, that didn't do anything. But boost result the cards when revealed ability. Uh, when revealed, a result of when revealed ability of each side scheme in play. If no, when revealed ability is resolved. Well, uh, deal three indirect damage. So I will take it into it's Spider Man. And this advances. Uh, choose one set aside modular encounter set at random, then shuffle it into the encounter deck. Place one acceleration token. Main scheme, each player must resolve the hoods, all playability. So that is not nice. Uh, we start with three threat here. And force response uh, will. Uh, first, determine which one we get. Uh, Reroll number eight, number three. So running interference. That shuffles into here. So, first off, I uh, will resolve the ball play again. Uh, we get the sewer tunnel search when we will discard each other setting environment in play. Okay, so, what's this? Uh, This gets in added here. Okay, forgot to add it. So this will come into play next, but well, next turn, but yet. But okay, uh, I think we are not surviving that long anymore. But we'll see how the game progresses. So uh, that was the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. We are really hurting. Uh, we could play the bait and switch, uh, go down to alter ego, heal, I think we have to do that. So I am playing the bait and switch, the villain attacks you, I'm using the heli carrier, or no, I'm using the queen carrier. So we'll draw a card, uh, first hit, the player defense, uh, 1 plus 0. Player is defeated. And uh, yeah, these are uh, already. So we remove four threat from a scheme. And we'll play. We play. Use the heli carrier to play on me. Then uh, we'll play the unflappable. We'll play first hit to deal two, and we'll flip down. Ant me heals for four. That is our whole turn. So we keep the swinging web keep in hand. Uh, unfortunately, we. Yeah, this should not be there. Not sure why I moved that. Oh yeah, I was shuffling the clear back here, so I'm just uh, shuffling a bit more. So we'll draw back up to five. Uh, I mean six because we're in alter ego, spreading up everything. Force. Get back, flip, swinging web kick, first hit, webbed up, spider tracker, and swinging web kick. We'll go to the villain phase, we add uh, one, two, three, four, threat to the main scheme. 
Uh, five, actually. So, four plus one is five. Uh, the hood schemes for one plus zero. Oh, yeah. Uh, after resolving step one of the villain phase, each player must solve the. Okay, so uh, this gets revealed, so we get all tied up. And then uh, the hood schemes for uh, one plus one is two. We are still in it, at least for a moment. And we get encounter cards. Get sewer tunnels, discard each other setting environment, each character in play against one, uh, retaliate one. Warehouse district location setting search. Oh, yeah, this search is first. So this gets discarded. Back alley enclave, each character in play gets plus one attack. Search. Uh, Unbribed. Build ambition, hinder two, so four threat there. When the villain phase begins, each player must resolve the hood's fall play ability. Really need to get rid of that. Uh, then we get uh, warehouse, uh, warehouse, a warehouse district that discards this. Uh, discard each other setting. Uh, each character in play gets steady. Okay, so also Spider-Man is steady now. Just mark it like this. And this goes in play and searches. And Shadows of the Past, which brings down Vulture. Luckily, we are in Alter Ego, so the Vulture won't attack, but we'll get Highway Robbery. This gets shuffled in. Okay. So, uh, when revealed, each player plays a random card from their hand to uh, here. So, we shuffle these. Uh, we lose web up under here. Just put it like so. And three threat there. Um, and uh, we still have these two threats also all tied up. That's your identity card. That character uh, cannot ready or change form action spent resources to discard this. Then uh, running interference. When revealed, each player must choose to either spend resources or place two threats here. And I think I'm using the resources. Or actually, do we have enough uh, to. Uh, deal. I'm just checking one thing. So we need to deal 16 damage, which uh, we are able if we can play both of the swinging wet kicks next turn. Uh, we have one, two, so we can actually <laughs> defeat the uh, hood next turn. So yeah, that's funny. So this also adds a Acceleration token. We can't uh, remove threat from the main scheme. We don't care. Uh, we'll uh, call that the villain phase done. That is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. So, uh, and maybe will heal us for four. We are not uh, generating any resources for anything. We'll just flip Spider Man. We'll hit for two here. The hood will advance. Choose one set aside. Uh, modular encounter set at random. Uh, one, two, three, four. We get four. So we get the sinister syndicate added to the deck. It doesn't matter at this point because we have enough damage. Double swinging web kick and win the scenario. So just quickly shuffling. We'll add the uh, health, so 16 hit points. Uh, we actually had to uh, uh, for uh, 16 hit points while we needed to have 16, uh, 14 uh, in the first phase. So we actually had too much health on the hood's first phase. 
Okay, uh, when we will choose. Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, that is done. Next up, we'll use the Queen Carrier, her Heli Carrier, and Web Shooter to play Swinging Web Kick, dealing 8. Then uh, we'll use Backflip, uh, Spider Tracker, and First Hit to play another Swinging Web Kick, DP the hood. So <laughs> we were uh, um, almost. Uh, losing the game there, but Spider-Man pulled out the victory just at the nick of time, so we double swinging web kicked to defeat the hood just in the nick of time, so a re really fun game, and uh, even though this was so close, we had like uh, a billion different uh, side schemes in play, the Vulture ready to attack and uh, everything like that that uh, coming at us, uh, we were able to uh, defeat the hood and Spider-Man prevailed. The only thing I'm a bit um, annoyed is that we didn't get the other, uh, these three in play, so we really would have wanted to see more of the Spider-Man villains. Uh, we just uh, shuffled the Sinister Syndicate, which brings a lot of enemies the encounter deck but well maybe next time I'm, I'm definitely trying this again uh, I'm not doing any changes but that was that gameplay so hope you guys like this playthrough thanks for watching and until next time